by uh, SIDAR Medical. Uh, the talk is how SIDAR surgical augmented intelligence system has positively impacted our practice. And Dr. Shames is going to present. I'd like to thank SIDAR for inviting me to speak about their uh, surgical augmented intelligence system. These are my conflicts. The increased utilization of endovascular procedures in vascular surgery has been associated with an increase in radiation exposure. Along with that, the increase in the complexity of these endovascular procedures is also contributing to an even more significant increase in radiation exposure to the patient as well as to the providers. In addition, there's an increased complexity requiring uh, cannulation of branches, uh, orientation of complicated devices, uh, and uh, all of this leads to uh, a much more complicated operation. In this uh, evaluation of uh, radiation exposure with fenestrated branched EVAR compared to non-complex EVAR, uh, there's been a uh, demonstrated increase in exposure to all members of the surgical team, including the, the uh, interventionalist, the assistants, the uh, scrub techs, as well as the circulating nurses. As we've transitioned uh, our uh, endovascular procedures from C-arm uh, portable units to hybrid rooms, we've also seen an increase in radiation exposure. Um, but this has been demonstrated to be reduced by the use of fusion um, with, along with this technology. Three-dimensional fusion CT decreases radiation exposure, procedure time and contrast use uh, during fenestrated endovascular aortic uh, repair. This is a data uh, from the um, University of Florida showing a reduction in radiation, fluoride time, uh, contrast, and procedure time. Some of the drawbacks of using the integrated fusion systems that come along with your, C, your, your hybrid unit uh, the, the requirement for spin CT or other referencing at the time of the operation would increase this uh, delay, uh, its difficulty with positioning, uh, getting the C-arm uh, around the patient and anesthesia. It's somewhat labor intensive at the time of the operation to create the uh, overlay and can limit the ability to move the table or the C-arm after the uh, fusion has been created. SIDAR EV uh, acknowledges all these uh, difficulties and provides a solution. What is SIDAR CV? It's a sophisticated cloud-based 3D fusion imaging software. It uses three, CT 3D overlay with live X-ray in the vascular operating suite, which is kind of analogous to a GPS navigation system. It's an entry point into intraoperative data capture and AI capabilities, and it's designed by physicians for physicians. The 3D image overlay system uses vision-based algorithms to search for vertebral bodies in, three, in a three-dimensional space provides fluoro-guided endovascular procedures in the lower thorax, abdomen, and pelvis. It's image-based tracking with real cloud technology and real-time patient movement registration enhances the speed and accuracy uh, of the uh, fusion images and works with any fluoro equipment, C-arm, or monitoring system. Provides less radiation, less contrast, saves time, and increases the accuracy with less risk, and it's easy to use. The system can be added to any mobile or fixed imaging system, can be integrated with your PAC system, uh, providing secure image transfer via network connection. Uh, turnaround time for, uh, for uh, processing uh, can be uh, in less than 24 hours. Uh, we've actually had it done in less than two hours for an urgent uh, ruptured EVAR. Finished freestanding monitors can be used or can be integrated into your existing uh, fixed system monitoring and uh, provides for rapid fusion and image update in under five seconds. In this analysis uh, of 44 patients, Dr. Mastracci and her colleagues uh, demonstrated a 50% reduction in radiation dose using uh, side REV. Uh, this is the data showing uh, the DAP for the control group versus fusion, uh, and also uh, reduced a number of DSA runs uh, to complete the, the uh, procedures. Sometimes when we place uh, stiff wires or stiff uh, devices into the aorta, it changes the configuration uh, and the ostea uh, position. This can be accommodated for by using the deformation tool. Uh, using a remote control, the, uh, the proceduralist can adjust the uh, ostea position, uh, both uh, in a uh, 
up and down uh, in a uh, caudal seth lad or rotation uh, orientation. Here's a, an example of a device uh, being positioned. You see the uh, ostia marked with the red circles. Uh, once the device uh, goes in place, you can see that uh, there's not perfect alignment uh, of the vessel wall, uh, as well as uh, the, os the renal branches. Uh, this can be adjusted and the uh, vessels are straightened out, uh, providing a more accurate uh, orientation of the vessels. Here again, in a lateral view, uh, we uh, see the uh, position of that right renal artery is a little bit low. Um, and here we uh, show adjustment. The renal arteries are uh, repositioned uh, with perfect alignment. In our own experience at uh, USF, we uh, compared 137 consecutive FIVAR cases. The last 63 have been all been done with side RIB. We showed a 20% uh, reduction in contrast use, a 40% reduction in patient radiation exposure and about an 8% reduction in operative time. Here's a, a, a branch case. Uh, this is with a, a Gortambi device. Uh, I've found that uh, the branch devices have had the most applicability. Uh, we don't do any uh, preoperative imaging uh, or, or angiography. We uh, position the device uh, based on the uh, SIDAR uh, vessel orientation. Uh, the device is deployed. You can see the branches being cannulated. Uh, and, uh, and then slight adjustments are made uh, using the uh, deformation tool to align the uh, renals and uh, reorient the uh, visceral vessels. Uh, and here's a, a final image uh, demonstrating uh, almost perfect alignment uh, of the visceral branches. In summary, uh, uh, SIDAR EV provides easy integration into our current workflow. The rapid overlay creation using a secure network and existing CTAs, which are transferred electronically. Uh, the uh, system provides for reliable overlay with real-time image adjustment. The deformation tool is uh, extremely uh, helpful to correct for the stiff wires and stiff devices. Uh, in our experience, we've demonstrated reduced radiation exposure, contrast use, and uh, operative time. And I think this is essential uh, technology for complex EVAR, fenestrated EVAR, and branched EVAR um, programs. Thank you.